Hey guys, it's Matthew Klein here and in today's video I'll be pruning up my acacia trees. I have two types of acacia trees, a black monkey thorn and a normal monkey thorn. So let's get started. The first tree that I'm going to prune is this monkey thorn. Let me actually bring you guys in closer. The first branch I'm gonna take off is actually this lower branch over here. It's too low and I don't need a branch this low. So just taking it off. And acacia trees have thorns on them so make sure you dispose of the, the branches that you take off in a bag or something so that no one can step on it. Especially in South Africa, people walk uh, bare feet throughout summer, so you don't want to step on, on these branches. Um, uh, there's some old pruning stubs that I can take off. I'm going to shorten this part a bit. I'm pruning in between the the thorns because at where the thorns are coming out that's where your buds are going to to be. So I'm just going to prune this one back a bit, not by much. Next, there's branches crossing each other over here, but I think it will be best to look at it from above. So let me adjust the angle. Here you can see there's branches crossing each other. So there's branches growing. over this mm, so I'm gonna take off this piece okay, next you will see there's a big mess happening over here um, this branch is coming out and growing on top of this branch at this point so we'll have to take back this branch. Um, just trying to think where I'm going to take it off. And I'm gonna go all the way back here. And then over here there's more branches growing over each other. Just so I think what I'm going to do is take out this branch that's growing over here and then going up. That will flatten it out a little bit more, so let me just do a rough cut. And shortens the tree and it just clears the space out a lot and it also makes it a lot flatter like most acacia trees are. For now, I'm just gonna quickly shorten these ones that are coming out because there's more crossing branches over here. So this one comes out, and then this, so I don't 
need this one. There's another strange looking one there. back and I'm using the thorns for directional pruning I'm not sure if it actually works this way with the KCS but I think it does because the the branches grow wherever the, the thorns are take it back there for now This one there. I think I am going to take off this vertical piece over here. And that opens up the tree a lot because if this is the front, you can see the trunk line a lot better. Let me just clean this up a bit. There's a branch going growing downwards here that I can take off. Take off this whole piece of here. Taking off some pruning stubs. Now this back branch is also quite long, so I'm just going to take it back. Be kind of a hard prune. Take it back out to there. Take off this pruning stub. There's a branch high up here. I'm going to take back for now but I might just take the whole thing back there's two branches coming from the exact same spot over here the one is a bit more upright that I think I'm gonna take off Cleaning it up a bit. These two branches are sticking out a bit too far. These two. This one back there. And that one back there. Take this one back even further. And I think that is it for this tree. And then I'm just gonna clean up the the landscape a bit. There's also a root here that I left in when I potted it, but it's sticking out and doesn't look good. So I'm just gonna take it off and hopefully I can pull it out. Yeah. another route on this side that it's not nice I didn't really do a lot of root work on this tree when I planted it I was still a little bit afraid of cutting too much so this tree will 
get some nice root work done probably next year or the year after okay i'm done let me spin this tree around so you can see it from all angles so this is the front this is the side the back view side and back to the front so that's it for this uh, monkey thorn let me grab the other monkey thorn and we can start on that one the next tree is this monkey thorn tree it was given to me um, by our neighbors this tree didn't have any roots on this side of the tree um, oh, because it, it fell over and yeah so the whole half moon on this side didn't have any roots on it but I think it recovered now from the previous growing season because it grew all these new branches at the bottom but I don't want branches this low so I'm just gonna take off take it off This one, okay, let me first take the one off. I'm not sure if I should keep this branch over here. So as, you, as you can see, the tree is slanted. And when, I, uh, when I'm going to repot it, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it sla uh, slanted like this. Or should I repot it? more upright and then have these three main branches um, but that's still a couple of years away I think I'm just gonna let this tree get stronger and stronger and I also actually like like it in this view this is the front and you have this branch coming off low on this side the the thicker one is at the back and then an upright one and then this branch here is also low don't need it But I think I'm going to take off this branch as, as well over here. It's too close to this branch and then it will make uh, handlebar branches. So let me take this one off as well. There's two branches coming from the same spot over here. I'm not sure which one to keep. I'm gonna keep the this one, or I'm gonna keep both, but I'm just gonna no. I'm gonna take this one off. Bring that one back there. And this tree also is losing all of its bark plates at the bottom. Um, this bark is full of moss actually. It's the only moss that I have on any of my trees. And I'm not even sure how it's growing there. 
but it's also letting the bark rot and then the plates are breaking off so I'm just gonna scrape it off I'm going to go and see if I can find an old toothbrush so I can just scrape off all the the moss from the bottom of the, the bark so that the tree can look old at the bottom just as it does at the top here okay I found the old toothbrush that I can use to just get rid of all the moss on the base of the the tree I'm gonna see if I can save this moss use the spores maybe or to get some moss growing for me but otherwise this moss is just growing so tightly on the bark as you can see the plates are just falling off so it's not really moss that you can use and save now the tree can dry out and make some new bark plates and that will add to the character of the tree and also the the age of the tree and that's it for this monkey thorn tree let me give it a spin